What about for young learners? How can technology be used to help them to speak English? Professor Levis told us that both accuracy and fluency are important for speaking. But he also noted that it is challenging for students to focus on both at the same time. This might be even more challenging for young learners. Professor Levis suggested teaching accuracy and fluency in separate tasks. So how can we do that with young learners? And how can technology help? Well, there are many online tools that teachers can use to help young learners start working on their accuracy and move towards fluency. I'll give you three examples. One is WordWall, where teachers can develop online activities such as games and quizzes to develop accuracy at the word and sentence levels. Another is Flip, where they can have their young learners interact with each other to improve their fluency. And a third example is Story Jumper, where teachers can have the learners create a final collaborative product, such as a digital storybook. In these kinds of tasks, learners can recycle what they learned during previous accuracy practice and work towards fluency. Professor Levis also mentioned the importance of learning the sound system, phonology of a language. In the following four activities, we will use different tools to exemplify how teachers can help young learners improve their accuracy for a sound pair, L and R in this case and how they can practice fluency in tasks where the target sound pairs are integrated. In all of the following activities, we're using seven word pairs. By keeping the number of pairs small, we're trying not to overwhelm young learners cognitively. Additionally, all words we used in the activities are high-frequency words that can be illustrated in pictures. In our first activity, we have a matching game that we created on WordWall. Teachers can use many features of this tool for free. In this activity, learners click on a colorful box where they can hear a word in the selected word list and match it with the word they think they hear. Pray. Pray. Write. Write. This activity of practicing hearing the L and R helps them to develop their listening perception of important sounds in English. As they practice, they will improve the accuracy of their perception. And research shows that perception is important for improving students' production skills. In the second activity, we move on to the accuracy practice for production. For this, we use the voice typing tool of Google Docs. We ask learners to read the words out loud and let the voice typing tool convert their speech to text on the computer screen. The text on the screen provides immediate feedback for the learners. As teachers, we encourage learners to pronounce the word again if the voice typing does not type what they mean. For instance, if the student says light, but Google voice typing types right, the teacher may encourage the learner to say the word again. In the third activity, we have the students read a short story, which puts the target words we used in the previous activity into a meaningful context. While students are reading the story individually, the Google voice typing tool converts their speech to text again. This time, students get feedback on sentence level production. This is a helpful stepping stone in the progression to free speech for fluency. In the last activity, students work on their fluency. For this, they collaborate in small groups and create a story on Story Jumper by using their target words. Story Jumper's basic features can be used for free by both teachers and students. This tool allows students to type words and put visuals or audio recordings on a page. In this activity, we can give students time for preparing their story, designing their visual components, and finally recording their voices while telling the story on each page. Teachers can also give the content of the story to the students and ask them to retell the story by recording their voices. The cyclical process of recording voices may help learners develop their fluency. At this point, students will be comfortable using at least the words in the word pairs. These tools and activities make it fun to learn how to speak English.